Old Freddy Ricker sat upon his lucky rock near the ocean's edge just like he did every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. This had been his routine for nearly ten years straight. He rarely ever missed one of these days, even if the weather was bad. Today the wind blew viciously against the shoreline. His thinning gray hair danced back and forth as he watched waves crash against the shore like an attacking behemoth a few feet below him. It was bad, but he had seen much worse. Chum is a story of Freddy Ricker, a man with a very unique concoction that catches the biggest fish every year in Blue Ridge despite not having a boat. The story really resonated with me because of not only uh, it taking place on the, on the coast in Maine, but uh, the horror elements that are in it, the slight uh, sense of humor that the story uh, encapsulates. Um, it was... It was definitely the, the next project for Cemetery Theater as soon as I read it. It was Friday night and Freddy sat in the enclosed screen porch attached to the back of his house. The porch wasn't anything special. The wood was weather-worn and badly needed a new coat of paint. The screens were tattered and full of holes that nullified their original purpose of keeping the black flies at bay. Despite its rough shape, it was his place to think. Whenever something bothered him or he needed to figure out life, he came out here. Tonight was one of those nights. There was something about the man in the blue hoodie that bothered him. A sort of odd familiarity that he couldn't quite put his finger on. What really got me interested in Cemetery Theater was the phenomenal short film Sleeping There. I saw it was like, damn, this is great. This is the type of horror I like, the type of vision I like. So when Shane approached me about doing Chum, I knew that I had the right people for the job that would, that would honor the story, do it the way that it should be told. Shane has a very, uh, a very similar vision, I think, to me and how he, he looks at films. He appreciates it. He respects it. He's a student of film. He likes horror. And that was very important for me, for, for anybody doing um, one of my works, is that they have to love horror because it's just, to me, those are the people that really put the heart and soul into making a film awesome. Cemetery Theater is known for uh, squeezing a dollar out of a dime. We filmed Sleep Eater in seven days for $100. Uh, using the little money that we have had in the past, we've produced something that could be looked at and thought, maybe they use 10 times the budget we actually use. Uh, because of that, we are asking for a little bit of help funding Chum. I wouldn't be asking you to donate money if I did not fully believe that they are going to make this the most amazing film that it can be. There's all kinds of cool perks that are listed. Check them out. Find which one you can help. Even if you can only date, donate 5 or $10, we have perks for that. Everything from a signed poster, a signed book, dinner with the cast and crew, uh, a set visit. You can come and watch us make Chum happen. I would just like to say thank you to everybody that donates, and I can't wait for you all to see what is going to be an amazing film. He sang a barely audible shanty as he headed back up the stairs with his bucket of Chum. Bucket of Chum, bucket of Chum. Toss her in the ocean, makes the fishes come. Bucket of Chum. Bucket of chum makes all the fishes go yum, yum, yum. Lost in his silly song, he passed by a pile of rags, mostly old, tattered clothes. With his attention diverted, he didn't notice the blue hoodie sticking out from the middle of the pile. 